the home of Halo is no longer with 343 Industries as currently they are relying on external studios and contractors once again to make multiple Halo games, one of those games being a larger scale oriented project with the legacy of what Halo Infinite started so many years ago. Well, according to the recent leaks from Bathrobe Spartan, as he recently stated a bunch of insider information about the current development status at 343 Industries and the next Halo project, going into good detail, but keeping it rather brief when it comes to everything we need to know when it comes to the next Halo game. Really bringing back up those rumors of 343 being much more of a publisher type of developer rather than where Halo is actually made. The first bit of evidence he brings up for his claims right here is saying how 343 have not been able to hold on to their employees over the past year and a half or so since the major layoffs back in January of 2023, saying an estimated 50 or 60 people have been let go on top of the round close to 100 people were laid off. Now I have checked with my personal sources about 343 news and things like that and one specific part of this entire thread actually rang very true which is also rather concerning and that is this tweet right here part of the thread saying that the studio appears to be less than 280 people as of May 2024 and only 30% of the remaining staff is related to game content production, meaning there's a lot more management people behind what's going on over at 343 rather than people actually just getting their hands in and making the content. And I will say as someone who used to work as a contractor at Microsoft, this does seem to kind of line up. But that's really because of how large of a corporation Microsoft is. You need managers for your managers, you need directors for your directors because there are just so many different layers. And the over-reliance on contractors isn't just a 343 thing, it's a Microsoft thing. Microsoft relies heavily on contractors. And that's the thing about developing for Halo is that even though 343 is the game studio that makes Halo, it's really just a branch of Microsoft, meaning that 343 are going to adopt the typical business practices of Microsoft. I will say much of this thread really does focus a lot on headcounts and the number of people who are working at 343, the number of people who have left 343, and he's kind of justifying that like hey there the amount of people have left compared to the amount of people who have come on recently because yes 343 is currently hiring new positions right for the more pro higher level producer kind of roles meaning that the game really isn't much in a production state right now as stated in one of the tweets here saying uh not stuff not enough staff to be re production ready which i think kind of lines up i mean uh, we do know that we've seen like linkedin profiles saying that They've been working on an unidentified Halo project since 2022, but of course literally making any progress to a new Halo game can be considered new production. Meaning if Halo is not even production ready at this point, we're at least two or three years away from an actual release of a Halo product, which is just wild to think about that Halo 5 released in 2015, Halo Infinite releases in 2021, we're probably not gonna get another Halo title until 2026 at best. One game in the span of 10 years, that is just insane. But honestly, it kind of makes sense as the way Microsoft and 343 tried to develop Halo Infinite, it was supposed to put like all their eggs in one basket and this was gonna be the Halo platform for the 10 years, right? Well, clearly, that didn't happen. But for right now, all we have is Halo Infinite and it's not really looking that great. We do know that 343 are moving on, right? They've literally said this to us publicly that 343 are moving on to different projects, but you know, trying to maintain Halo Infinite. But the new studio head, Pierre Hintz, is actually the person behind a lot of the Forge map creations that we're talking about here. Saying here from a former employee actually say that Pierre, who was the person who mandated Forge maps going forward, as in, let's drop all type of development when it comes to making developer made maps and just rely on the community to, you know, basically keep this game running. And this philosophy has actually put a big strain on the forging community as well as some people have gotten fed up with it, but the reliance on the forge community working for free to keep this game afloat with no compensation whatsoever, it's left them with a bitter taste in their mouth. They're not happy with the current state of how 343 are handling their Forge works. So it's like if even 343 releases a new Halo game with the best Forge ever, are Forges really going to want to put the time and effort into this game? 
because of how much they're being leaned on right now by 343 with minimal to no compensation whatsoever. Not even have to be financial compensation, but just recognition to help platform these amazing map creators, right? You need to help them get a job in game development. A lot of people have done that, starting with Forge and then getting into actual development tools to then get a job within the industry. We also get some information about how Infinite is viewed internally at Microsoft. Like, was it actually successful on Microsoft side of things? Because we see all the numbers, we see the Steam charts. It doesn't look very good, right? But how does Microsoft and 343 view the game? Well, according to the thread right here, saying that as a product didn't meet its commercial goals, projections implied it wasn't worth contracting new content outside of the cosmetics, which was still left to be finished, and also meaning that no new sandbox items are coming to the game, which, I mean, I, I see your guys' comments out there. I know some of you guys are just dying for new stuff to use in the game, right? New guns, new equipment, new vehicles, things like that, like the Falcon that we've seen leaked plenty of times. Where is that at right now? Apparently it's like 90% there, it just needs that extra 10% to be like something viable to be played online and the people are just not there to make that kind of stuff happen at 343 right now. And so, I mean, we do know that 343, like I said, have moved on from Infinite, right? I think we can all see it. They've told us literally in, you know, publicly that the Infinite's not the focus of Halo development anymore. So if you're still holding out for any new sandbox items that come for Infinite, Unless there's some employee out there who just wants to work a 60, 80 hour long work week to, you know, get some stuff done just because they just really want the Falcon in the game. I just don't see anything new coming to Halo Infinite anytime ever. So what's it looking like with 343 now moving forward with Halo content? Well, it seems like they're doing a new production method. As stated here, saying that 343 Industries have shifted to a new production method, separating lead development and production, hiring lead positions to do the concept and pre-production in-house, and handing off the production work to another studio, similar to Halo Wars 2. Which could possibly be the case, we have seen 343 have long-term relationships with external studios like Search and Affinity has been working with 343 since Halo 4 have made some of the best bits of content Halo has ever had in the past 10 or 15 years or so. But a very credible news insider of just Xbox news, Windows gaming news in general, Jess Corden did say this, saying, checked into the latest rumors going around that 343 isn't going to develop Halo games and instead only oversee them. False AF, in case you believe it. Continuing on saying studio has hundreds of employees and loads of open positions. Pretty big team if all you're doing is overseeing. Which does seem to make a lot of sense, though Jazz has been a little wrong in the past. If you guys remember a few years back with Sean W and Jez Corden talking about the Halo franchise switching to the Unreal Engine. And at the time, Jez was saying that's not happening. That's crazy to talk about. And Sean W was like, no, that's going to happen. But I think they were talking about in the context of Halo Infinite, not realizing that just soon after that, Jason Schreier comes out, who is like probably the most legitimate gaming insider, comes out and says that 343 are moving to the Unreal Engine, which would make a lot of sense as Slipspace has been a major pain point when it comes to development of Halo. So I do feel like that discrepancy in knowledge really just kind of comes with working within the nature of leaks and rumors because all of this is third-hand, second-hand information. No one gets it directly from the source, like Pure Hints or something like that, talking about what the plan is for Halo. It's always talking about from a developer who talked to somebody who knows this kind of stuff. That's why I always say when it comes to leaks and rumors, it's better to kind of just get the general idea and the big picture of what's happening rather than being lost in the details of exactly how many people are working over here, how many studios are supporting, what exactly are they working on. I think it's more important just to understand that 343 are currently hiring. They are hiring mainly production people, higher up, more upper management type of roles for whatever the next Halo project is going to be. And they are working with external studios who probably help with some heavy lifting like we've seen in the previous development cycles of various Halo games. And talking about the production of various Halo games, we currently see that right now, according to Bathrobe Sparian saying, one of the projects seems to be a PvP bigger scale oriented project, the legacy of what was started for Halo Infinite years ago. Now, bigger scale, I'm not quite sure exactly what they mean by that, as in like 
Is it just going to be like BTB with like 50 versus 50? Or we're talking big scale as in like a full on release Halo game with campaign multiplayer and like a third mode that could be like firefight or something. I don't know. Though according to my insider source about the inner goings at 343, there's one part of this thread that was the most true thing Bathrobe Spartan has ever said about anything Halo related. And it's this ending part of the tweet saying, I have an educated guess, but I don't blindly trust leakers or insiders, even us. Talking with a dozen of people, we can only have a fraction of the whole picture. You're putting yourself up for disappointment if you think people on Twitter have precise scheduled information. It's talking about if you see people out there given actual dates about when they see like the next Halo game come out, like that's when it's going to happen. No one knows, not even the developers at 343 truly know. So I gotta keep it real with you guys, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. Even though I do love Bathrobe Spartan, he does come up with some great information, some that's great for content to make a video about like I am right now. But I gotta tell you, with this thread that I read through, honestly guys, I don't really find that much information inside this thread being damning or anything different or interesting that we haven't really talked about or already knew about when it comes to all things happening with development of Halo or whatever the next project is going to be. Because yeah, we've seen plenty of people leave. We've seen plenty of people getting hired. We do know that 343 are relying on Forgers when it comes to supporting Halo Infinite. We do know that yeah, there is another Halo game currently in the works at the moment. Some type of project, maybe not a full long Halo game, but something Halo related is currently within the works that we're going to get in the next two years, maybe three years, something like that. And we've kind of known about this for quite some time. So it feels kind of interesting seeing this being considered like news nowadays, as this is something we've been talking about here on the channel for months now at this point. And while I believe Bathrobe Spartan sources told him the truth of what they feel is actually happening over there, I feel like a lot of this could be just misinterpreted information from like second, third hand sources, not blaming Bathrobe Spartan because he's just hearing stuff that he's finding out and sharing it with us with the public, which I greatly appreciate about that. But I'm wondering if the source, how accurate of a source they really are, as it does seem like this is completely contradictory from what we've been hearing from 343, what we've been hearing from other insiders as well, and for what I've heard personally as well. Keep in mind the larger picture of things of what's really happening, and then we'll find those little minute details as time goes on. But do you guys think that 343 are going to be moving more to a publisher role rather than a direct developer? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it this far into the video, make sure to leave a green heart. Let's me know who the real ones are who watch this channel. But thank you guys all so much for watching and greatly appreciate it. Check out these videos right here if you missed any content from me recently. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.